Hey there, everyone. I'm John with Adults Have Toys 2, where we take a closer look at the things that bring us fun and satisfaction. First up, the TLDW. Bluetooth cassette adapters. They exist, and this Ars Vita one that I bought works pretty well. If that's all you're here for, thanks for watching. If you want to hear the story, then stick around. Every once in a while, you learn about a product that you never thought of, but makes perfect sense when you discover that it exists. Or you go, damn, I could have thought of that, why didn't I? I was watching Technology Connections talk about the cassette tape adapter and how it works. It's a great channel and he gives a great explanation. I'll link it here. Long story short, a tape head and a cassette player can both read to and write from tape. If you place one tape head against another, and have one read and one write, the audio signal will just go from one to the other. So a tape adapter is just a three and a half millimeter connector attached to a taped head, which mates to the tape head in your tape player. It's a genius idea that I never considered, but the product I've known about for a long time. I had one in my first car, attached to an MP3 capable Discman. The obvious idea I never thought of is why can't that tape adapter be Bluetooth? I suppose that's because for me there was a significant gap in time between when a cassette tape adapter was useful and when Bluetooth was a viable option for me. But today I do have a car whose only means for playing music is either AM, FM or cassette. I thought about retrofitting the car with Bluetooth but I really didn't want the expense. And FM transmitters are okay but they've been hit or miss with me in the past. A normal cassette adapter would seem to be the solution, but in my car there's a door over the cassette slot so the cable wouldn't have anywhere to go. That's why a Bluetooth cassette adapter seems to be the perfect solution. I jumped on Amazon and saw a ton of similar looking, probably relabeled Chinese made cassette adapters. Some of them have a wire with a mic on the end so you can use them as a hands-free device as well, but I already explained why a cable doesn't work for me. A few of them say black for some reason, maybe the color. Um, this one had a graphic of the word black, but the B was the Bluetooth logo. Sold. And here it is, the Ars Vita Bluetooth cassette adapter. From the outside, it looks like any other cassette. Just a couple of markings on it. The branding, the model number of ABCA. Dash 02B. There's a B in the corner, which I don't think is side B. I think that's just for Bluetooth. Because uh, on the other side, there's no markings at all. And then on this side is a micro USB port for charging, a button to turn it on and off and to initiate pairing, and an LED to show you your power and pairing status. Let's go take a closer look inside. Looks like we got a couple of Phillips head screws up front. So we'll pull those out. Now hopefully, I'm not damaging anything by opening this because that would make my review a lot more difficult. And there's another four screws on back. So it looks like the battery is incredibly tiny. There's definitely some room in there for a bigger battery. Uh, there's a bunch of gears to be able to run the, um, the tape player and a very small board with the micro USB, 
the button, a small IC, and another small board that the tape head is attached to with some springs. I'm going to go off camera and uh, hopefully this comes back together. Okay, I think I've got all the gears back in place. I can see the cogs here. We'll spin all the other gears. The battery's back in its little cubby there. And hopefully this all just clips back into place. How about that? Let's screw it back together and see how it works in the car. All right, so let's go try it out. Like I said, my car um, can only do AM, FM, and cassette. And so in order to play Bluetooth over the stereo, I need a cassette adapter. So we're gonna try this Bluetooth cassette adapter. Pairing was really simple. Um, just like any other Bluetooth device, uh, you put it into pairing mode, you go to your Bluetooth settings, you find the one that says Ars Vita, and it will uh, pair up. So I've already prepared this. I put some royalty-free music on my phone so we can go and try this out. Oh, and yes, this is about adults having toys too. This is another one of my toys. We'll go ahead and just put it in accessory mode. My uh, cassette is starting up. I'm going to go ahead and eject what I already have in here. Uh, thank you, Guardians of the Galaxy. And we'll go ahead and turn on the Bluetooth. Searching for my phone. And looks like we're connected. Go ahead and put that in there. And let's go ahead and open up my music. Look at that. All right, so it looks like I can control the volume from my phone. Or from the cassette player. I got Bluetooth in my car, how about that? And no tape noise, no hiss. I'm gonna call that a success.